<laughs> for an occasion, <laughs> for an occasion such as this, <laughs> it's always best to, to prepare your speech, though not to make any uh, slips of the tongue. Sorry. I'm sure everyone will agree today has been absolutely fantastic. The weather, um, the church, the ceremony, it's been absolutely awesome. I don't think anybody uh, would disagree with that at all whatsoever. I don't think I've seen anyone as happy as you two have been today. It's just really, really, really been great. <clears throat> However, for today, I believe for many a man, it is also going to be a sad day, as it marks the day that Laura is officially off the market. <laughs> <laughs> and for many a woman, just another day. <laughs> Seriously, Laura, you really do look absolutely awesome today. Absolutely breathtakingly angelic. Really, really, really good. You know when that priest or the figure said about, is there any lawful moment of uh, why these two shouldn't be wed? Generally got my iPhone out, Googled it, and thought, is you being too great for him a genuine reason? You're way out of his league, but Ollie, you did good, mate. You did really, really, really good. Prior to writing this speech, I'd done a bit of research online, as you could probably tell. And uh, most of the website said that I'm supposed to sing your praises and uh, tell everyone about your many good points. Well, I can't sing, and I ain't about to lie, so. <laughs> For all of you don't know, well you do, because he just said it, so that's wrecked that bit, but my name is Stephen Down. Uh, I've known Ollie for about eight years when he first came into my shop and, uh, and bought an awful amount of equipment off me. Thanks for that, dude. Uh, being given the position of uh, best man has, uh, has been an honour and a privilege and, uh, and a massive inconvenience, to be fair. <laughs> In fact, I did actually try multiple times uh, to get out of it. Um, I told him that I was way too busy with my company, uh, I'm way too busy with my, my two little kids, and actually the, uh, the timing didn't fit in with the schedule at all really, but Ollie being Ollie kind of overcome all that and uh, brought me lunch down to work almost every week when he was back. He babysat my kids and take them out for days and uh, move the date of the wedding, so cheers for that. <laughs> uh, so I figured um, if I'm gonna get out of it, I'm pretty confident I could have got out of it. He had some really fantastic friends he could have asked that I needed to step my game up a bit. So uh, you all are obviously aware of Ollie's love, second love for his uh, cars, even though he's crashed just about all of them yeah. up until now, but that, that motor he's got out there, the Audi RS3, 400 of them, 400 that they made, 90 of them made it into the country. I think that's probably 75 left, only just, maybe 74 tomorrow. But <laughs> awesome motor, absolutely awesome. So I figured if there's ever gonna be a way that I'm gonna get out of this, going to involve the RS3. <laughs> so i done a tracker for him and when he came to pick it up I was sitting in his car outside my shop <laughs> waiting for him. He arrived on his mountain bike because he's on his fitness thing at the moment. Loaded the mountain bike on the roof and I was like okay right I've got it. Golden opportunity. Started to drive it into my workshop. The workshop shutter was like two inches too short. Bam! Mountain bike smashed all over the roof. <laughs> in and it, scratched it. Yeah you need that for a week. And I was like, oh, damn, let's draw a drop. We both looked at each other and went, oh, I was thinking, definitely out, <laughs> definitely out. <laughs> Got out, went, car, come here, whatever. I was like, oh. So from that moment on, I knew I was definitely his best friend. And without a shadow of a doubt, Ollie is my best friend. So sorry about that, dude. But uh, no, I really, uh, 300 quid lighter and give it up. So. There we go. Um, so for the title of best man, I am a little bit, you know, a little bit miffed, a bit confused, because if I am the best man, then Laura, why are you marrying Ollie? <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm just a pretty good man, and uh, Ollie is in fact the best man. And uh, for that I've written down, written down, not typed, a few reasons here, so. Ollie is hard working, he's productive, he's honest, and amazing. I can't read your writing. Just can't read it. <laughs> 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 he was born on the 19th of July 1984. I googled that date to see if there was anything else relevant to that date. 
Nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing of any relevance or importance at all whatsoever. But the James Paget Hospital, still to this day, call it Ugly Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> So you've all got envelopes. Everyone's still got envelopes, yeah? yeah. All the elastic yeah. bands off? Yeah. Cool. Right, in 2007, Ollie found his third love. This is dressing up. Okay. So, in 2007, he came to mine uh, with lovely Laura, and we had a, an awesome Halloween party. Hey, you're not opening them yet. No, we're not opening them yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So. 2007 at my house, Halloween party, um, envelope number one, everyone. You can open it now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, just, just envelope number one. Yeah. Yes. Ollie is a sexy pirate. Sexy pirate. Notice the pose. There's a little theme here. Okay. So that was where it all began. All right. Now you can do an envelope number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Num number two. Now open number two. Margaret <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's 30th birthday party. Just last year, so you can see 2007 to 2011, still doing it, still going strong, <laughs> and you notice the pose, very similar, very similar, okay. Right, if you don't already know, yeah you do, because Holly said, the, the stag do was in Vegas, that was ridiculously good, really, really, really good, but we did have to decide on the way how uh, we're going to embarrass him, and we knew he liked dressing up, so we were like, we just need to find something really, really stupid for him. So if you haven't already seen it, number three. Oh no, four is come on, Steve. Such a bar, man. You could be a mate with boy in here. I think I know what I'm I definitely think Ollie made a call to Laura, didn't he, and asked if he could wear that for the uh, for the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. I was hoping that my dress could be matching. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure for everyone that has known him as long as me, the past eight years, and you can even see from photo one to, well, will be photo four, <laughs> that, that Ollie today is a different physical man from what he was <laughs> eight years ago. The guy's been really hitting the gym hard, I mean hard and diet plans, I mean I used to be skinny, got a belly now and I'm asking him for diet advice now, so the guy is, is yeah, I'm, I really look, look to him for that, he's, he's phenomenally done extremely well. So, we can see there's a difference, and in envelope number four, we can see exactly the difference we've got. <laughs> He did actually insist on wearing it every night in the hotel room, which I didn't share with him. But, yeah, uh, uh, Jesus, I mean, uh, that was quite cold in the room, by the way, it was very cold in that room. Not that I'm supposed to compliment him, but he's looking pretty good now. Laura, oh, you're a lucky, lucky lady. Look at his eyes, she's not seen that. Look at her face. She's got the daddy on there. <laughs> Ladies, you can turn that photo over now to stop you looking at that. The uh, married life, I believe that's going to teach you, well, I think it's going to teach you a lot. You're doing well so far, but I think it's going to teach you a lot. I think it's going to teach you loyalty, self restraint and control, and I think it's going to give you a sense of responsibility and fair play. Of course, all of these things you wouldn't need had you just stayed single. <laughs> But in all seriousness, you have done really well, mate. Really well. Laura is just gorgeous. You really have pulled a really good one there. So, well done, dude. Absolutely well done. Um, <clears throat> everyone, if you can stand up again. Sorry, Ollie did get you up a lot but last time, I promise. <laughs> so, everyone, raise me in a toast to Oliver and Laura, Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland. To love, 
laughter and happy ever after. Thank you.